Wow. Can we just say wow? What yeah. town? Wow. Man. You know, uh, Jacob, my wife and I saw him with the Million Dollar Quartet out in Las Vegas. And you were the highlight of the show out there. I'm going to tell you that right now. And Gerald, to, to meet you today, uh, Brother Swaggart's uh, uh, one of my all-time favorites. I grew up on Brother Swaggart. <laughs> a lot of you are wondering, what, what's this guy doing here today? I'm, I'm wondering the same thing. I'm thinking, <laughs> how did this happen that I'm here in the midst of all of this talent and uh, all of this love and everything? But I, I, I came because Judith invited me, number one. And um, I have a showroom in Panama City Beach, Florida. And I did a show... Um, <clears throat> 25 years ago this month for, with Jerry Lee up in Northeast Indiana, a place called Buck Lake Ranch. And here, here's a story I want to share with you. Jerry flew in in a Learjet with his band. They landed in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Now, if you know Jerry, he didn't allow the band to ride in the limo with him. He made him ride in another vehicle. Jerry got in the limo. So I was driving the conversion van that would pick the band up. James Burton was the guitar player. And of course, James played with Elvis from 69 to 77. So the concert got over and uh, Jerry took off in the limo. I believe his daughter was with him. And the band said, don't lose Jerry Lee because if he gets to that Learjet, he gives us five minutes and he's out of here. <laughs> so I tore out trying to keep up and ended up getting a speeding ticket with James Burton <laughs> in the van. But. At that particular concert, they had they all the artists signed nine posters. One of the posters is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and I happen to have a couple of them. So I have had one framed that I want to give to Judith and the family, and it has Jerry's autograph in the top corner. And so this uh, is for you and the family to hang on your wall. Uh, it was 25 years ago this month. And so uh, Chuck Berry was on that show. Of course, Jerry Lee, Leslie Gore, Chubby Checker, The Four Tops, The Platters, Danny and the Juniors, and I got to open the whole show. So anyhow, there, it's signed by all the artists, and uh, Judith, this is for you and the family to cherish. Thank you. You're welcome. Beautiful. Beautiful. I also have with me, uh, years ago I came up with a, a little logo, because. We're all just following our dreams. And uh, so this is FTD with a little lightning bolt that stands for follow that dream. And I brought you your own charm for your neck. And if you don't mind, I'd like to put this around your neck okay. and, and let you know how special you are to all of us, not just me, but I'll let you hold the microphone. Let's see if I can figure out the right way. Go this route. Hang on. Bear with me. <clears throat> and so on Facebook, there was a picture that came up of, of Jerry Lee in a particular jacket. And I thought, man, that's just crazy. I have the same jacket that Jerry had. And uh, so I pulled the picture up, and you're going to recognize it. Oh, yeah. That jacket. So I brought, I brought the jacket today to wear while I sing a few. <laughs> <laughs> but now I want to share the most important part of the day for me, for Jerry Lee Lewis family, for the fans. Lee, will you come up here and join us, please? I, I know you don't want to come front and center, but I really, really would love to have you come up here, Lee. You know that, that uh, last man standing piano is still in Panama City? I believe it is there. The flamed one? It's, yeah. It's supposed to be, uh, Steve Bing once told me that it was at the Harley shop. I believe it is still there, yes, on Bank Beach River. Lee, Judith. Could I get you to come up here? Yeah. With us? Probably the guy that owns it. Oh, Michael, can you come get the little Jerry? Jerry? My wife. And this, they had that they had that piano airbrush. Steve, to come here. Airbrush. Folks, this is a big, big moment. Mama's got to stand up. Come on, man. Mama's got to stand up. Wait, 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 wait. Mama will be all right. She'll be right back. So, Judith. I'm coming. 
I know you are. I'm not young anymore. You're young, you're young and spry. I love it. About six weeks ago, we were in, my wife and I were in Memphis uh, doing a show at the guest house right next to Graceland. And a man had told me about a white Cadillac that was down on Beale Street that belonged to Jerry Lee. And he said, you know that Cadillac sitting behind the building on Beale Street and it's just sitting there decaying. And I said, I'm gonna go down there and try to buy that car and take it to Florida and put it on display. So I got a picture of the car. I finally recently reached out to them but in the midst of all of that, my wife said, and, and Lee, by the way, we met in 2016. My wife looked it up. What year? 18. 18, I'm sorry. We met at the ranch, the Lewis Ranch, and you were given the tours. My wife and I came through the tours, and we loved it. What a fantastic thing that was. Tell them we're busy. Yeah. Let them know we're, we're tied up right now. So my wife, so we're, we, we drove out by the ranch, and we drive by there all the time because we just think it's cool. And I noticed a for sale sign on there, and I said, pull out the thing on that, and got read it, and I called the realtor up. And we made about five trips to the ranch, photos and this and that. On our way here yesterday on our bus, we signed the agreement that in July, in July we will close, we will be the proud owners of the Jerry Lee Lewis Ranch. Yeah. Wow. And we are going to open it up for tours, starting with where you started, taking some of your concepts. We're going to be retrieving as many of the pieces as we can. And we are going to put an honor for Jerry Lee Lewis that he deserves. Oh, his, own, his own Graceland, if you don't mind me saying. But, uh, but here's what I want to tell Lee and Judith. When we get the keys to this place, you will both have a key to the front door. You are welcome in that home any moment at any hour that you choose to come. It's fine to come and talk to you. Only in America. Outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. Oh, that's great. Now that does my heart good. Mm -hmm. That does. I waited to tell you. <laughs> you waited to tell me. I've known that it was in the process, but and I prayed every night because it was just terrible, especially on Lee, because Jerry left him the ranch. And uh, just, we don't even know what happened, really. I don't even want to talk about it. But we were given a very hard time, both of us, Lee and I, were treated horrible by just a few people. But the fans, all of y'all, have made us complete because you stood by us. You stood by Jerry and what he wanted. And Lee is just, I'm sure, in shock as I am. <laughs> I prayed every night that Todd, it would come through. But I couldn't really tell anybody because I didn't really believe. I figured they would do something to stop it. They tried. They did try. We finally beat him down. <laughs> he must have. No, we finally got an agreement on Thursday. Actually, the agreement came on Thursday where they agreed and we agreed on what, what's going to happen. And uh, um, yesterday, as we were on our bus coming here, the realtor, Mark, you know Mark, his staff, they sent us all the paperwork. We signed the documents that they signed, and we're, we're scheduled to close the whole thing in, in July. So in July, we'll have keys, and you'll have keys. Oh, it's come back home to you. It's come back home to you. <laughs> I know it was hard it for It was us. terrible. And here's what I want to do. We want to open it to tours. We're going to turn the garage into the ticket booth. That'll be the gift shop. We're going to, we're going to have a, uh, uh, it'll, they'll be on the back, we're going to put in on a brand new back wall. We have plans already. And there'll be a big screen TV. When you arrive, tour buses arrive. We're putting a parking lot right in front of the garage there. That grass will be turned into a parking area for the buses. And when you get the pool. We got the pool, we got the garage, we, we made sure in the deal we got the boat dock that's in the photo album. Oh, yeah. We're going to rebuild the boat dock. We had to break it down. The only way we could make this deal work was we bought 10 acres, the whole front 10 acres. There's 30 acres. The back 20, uh, the neighbors are trying to buy type thing. 
but uh, we we secured the front ten, so we got the house, the pool, the garage, and the whole the whole. The thing that he liked the most. The thing he liked the most, but we made sure we got the boat dock. That's part of music history. That it boat is. dock is. It's part of history. We're going to have it re rebuilt. We're going to take the home back to to now. Here's the cool thing that you guys want to know is the mother-in-law quarter, the apartment on the end of the house, we're turning that into a, a Airbnb, so people that want to pay the money and stay at the ranch, they'll be able to stay there after touring hours, swim in the swimming pool. Hey, hey well, listen, that's what Jerry would want. He'd want the fans to enjoy where he, he was at. Fans. And uh, so we're, we're so excited, I've been dying to tell you. Well, no. <laughs> we were out at the cemetery next to the monument, we're taking pictures, she's on the other side going, did you get it? And I go, I'll tell you later. She goes, you're killing me, did you get it? I said, I'll tell you later. <laughs> but what we want to do, and I'm working with Judith on this. God just works it out for Jerry Lee Lewis. And here's the thing. He always does. Jerry Lee's name is on a plaque at the Country Music Hall of Fame. You all got that done. Jerry Lee's name is on a plaque at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But the most important thing is, is Jerry Lee's name was in the Lamb's Book of Life when he got to heaven. Yeah. That's the only place it really matters. Yeah. But while we're here on earth, we're going to enjoy what Jerry Lee uh, continues to give us. These guys, the talent that these guys, all the way from France, is it? Yes, yeah. That's hours. a long drive. <laughs> <laughs> it took him 24 hours to get, here, to, get to New Orleans. Right? <clears throat> That's then beautiful. I mean, they come from all over the world, and so, um, and so. You you you'll be one of the first. I got several firsts, <laughs> but we're going to do a uh, on September the twenty eighth. Our goal is to do. That's a Saturday night. I know you're already going somewhere a couple days earlier for a birthday celebration, but uh, keep in mind our goal, and we haven't put this in stone yet, is to do a birthday celebration for uh, Jerry Lee, because his birthday is 29th, obviously. Yeah. And on the Saturday night, the 28th, and uh, piano piano playing, concert, barbecue, tour of the house. It's going to be uh, uh, fireworks over the lake. Yeah, yeah we're going to do it right. I know you will. We're going to do it right. And uh, so, anyways, I want to... Isn't it strange uh, how everything works out? Well, Just what I want... Works out. What I want Judith to get done for me, and Gerald, you might be able to help me, the tour is going to start in the garage. We're going to we're, we're spray foaming all of that, putting in heat and air. We're, we're making it. We're putting an awning on the front. We're, we're, it's going to be where you start, and then you go up the hill. We'll have uh, six eight seater golf cart to take you up the hill, or you can walk up the hill. I mean, to the house, tour the house, do all the grandiose tour and all of that. But when when you leave, here's here's my goal. Here's what I want. I've prayed about this. I've sought God about this is that Brother Swagger will do a video basically saying I'm evangelist Jimmy Swagger. I hope you've enjoyed the tour of my cousin Jerry Lee's home. But the best thing Jerry Lee ever did before he left this earth is he said yes to Jesus. Amen. We're going to use that home to plant a seed to every life that walks yes. through there. No matter whether they're from France from Australia, from America. Everybody that walks through, the last thing they'll hear is a message from his own cousin, evangelist, Jimmy Swagger. And I'm gonna count on you to get that done. I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> now. I can't play a piano at all, and I and even if I could, there's no way I would sit down to that piano after the way these guys <laughs> just literally lit that. Did they light that thing up or what? <laughs> so because of what I do for a living, I have decided that for if if you don't mind, I'll sing three or four songs. But I've brought Johnny Cash, one of Sun Studios artists to sing on the show. Okay. I brought Roy Orbison to sing a song on the show. I brought Elvis to sing a song oh on the God. show. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna, we've already had Jerry, now it's time to have Johnny, Roy, and Elvis. Come on. <laughs> All right. And y'all know the music. Okay. I want to see All right, let's have some fun. So the Sun Studio, 